Welcome back. Happy Friday. A live look outside in Stockton this morning. Looking good. Traffic flowing and it feels good outside, at least for now. We're going to be heating up once again into the triple digits on this national lasagna day. We are going to celebrate big time. We have two chefs with Olive Garden. We have Jeffrey Hookins and Francisco Barjorge. Did I get that that's perfect. close? That's I've been practicing that's, a little that's, bit. That's perfect. Thank you both for coming today. I love lasagna. I am not good at making it. What is the trick to making, well, the lasagna you make at Olive Garden? I think the, the biggest, the best trick is, is that uh, using primo ingredients. Um, and Only the best. It. Only the best. <laughs> but you have an um, Olive Garden, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, <laughs> and everything's got to be fresh. It's got to be fresh. Okay. You don't want to buy yes. anything out of a can or anything like that. You want to make it from scratch in your own kitchen. Especially the mozzarella, I oh, find, yeah, right? Exactly. That can make a big difference. Yeah, you got to shred it out yourself. If you okay. just buy it shredded, you won't have the same consistency. So what do you start with on the bottom of the pan? Well, we're going to start with a little bit of cooking spray. It could be any cooking spray. I'll Again, tell you what, I've never done that. I didn't realize, so that's my first mistake. Well, th well, that way it doesn't stick to the pan. Also, you get it good and thick on the sides so that it just scoops right out when you're ready to go there. What I've done is use sauce at the bottom. Absolutely. But I have not, so you do start with sauce. Yep, so okay. we're going to go ahead and uh, have Francisco ladle some sauce on the bottom. Your meat sauce. That's our meat sauce. Good, good we we meat make sauce. that What's from scratch every day. Um, that is besides meat. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's got it's got uh, ground beef. It has ground pork, uh, and it also has some tomato sauce and some other things that I'm not allowed to. Divulge. Okay, we can't get all the secrets. Can't take but all some. the secrets. So he's going to get a, a good healthy scoop of that on the bottom. We're going to put some lasagna layers, which is the lasagna pasta, over that. And are these cooked al dente? Is that the These key? are al dente. So if someone's watching, they're like, well, what's al dente? What does that mean? How long al do you cook it for? Al dente means that you want it kind of firm and almost crunchy, kind of a yellowy look to it. If you cook it too too long, what happens is, is that it turns out to be uh, very mushy. So you yes. want that firmness. So when you when you pick up the lasagna and you actually take it out of the pan, it looks amazing and it's nice and firm and thick. Okay. Um, so if about you have that firm, maybe? Eight to uh, ten? I, I would say, yeah, I would check it about five to seven minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because it's going to cook in the oven as well. Yes, so. exactly. Okay. What's this mixture here? Okay. That is our uh, cheese mix. Uh, we have a blend of ricotta cheeses, uh, pecorino romano cheeses, mm. as well as some Parmesan cheese in there. Okay. A good mixture then. Yeah. Okay. A little oregano, that's what you see the specks there. A lot um, of flavor. It's got a little basil, amazing flavor with that. He's going to smear that all the way to the edges. And so what do you do? You just continue this um, repeat of the, the cheese and then the sauce and then the noodle? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, I've got to ask you, because it's a mistake I kind of make each time, is how do you finish at the top? What sh Obviously the cheese is on top, but do you, We're you do shredded? Yep, yep. Okay. We do the shredded mozzarella. Uh, and what we do is we put the lasagna layers right on the top at the end. Lasagna so, and then the cheese mm -hmm. right on let's top go of ahead the and noodle. Build one okay. more there. Got it. All right, we only have a, a little bit of time left. Okay. So talk about uh, what you have left on the table here. Both well, we amazing. have some uh, amazing uh, lasagna dishes at the Olive Garden. Uh, we have a few that are, are, are for appetizers, one being the uh, uh, lasagna frita. Uh, these are bite sized fried lasagna pieces over Yum. a bed of Alfredo sauce. And then it has our homemade, fresh daily uh, marinara sauce over the top and some Parmesan cheese and parsley. Uh, so that's amazing for sharing. Um, over here, uh, you know, no meal is complete without a great dessert. Right. Uh, we do have our chocolate caramel lasagna. Uh, that is uh, vanilla uh, soaked sponge cake with creamy custard, uh, decadent chocolate, and smooth caramel with oh. a little bit of those chocolate shavings on the top. And that's amazing as well. And that's really a great way to kind of finish off your dinner as well. I, I noticed you only brought one piece. Sorry. I don't know if I'm going to be able to share that with you. Exactly. It looks amazing. <laughs> thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank uh, you if, for having us. Yeah, thank you. This is a lunch for us. Uh, if you can't